man. All right. So I've had a rough week. Sorry for not being here with the videos. I've just had a rough week and um, wasn't able to put any content out. But I was hoping and riding on the fact that the New Orleans Saints could possibly upset 7-2 and Tennessee Titans and make my week a little bit better. Uh, but no, they, they didn't do that. They actually lost in pretty horrific fashion. Now, I'd rather get blown out than do what we did the past two consecutive weeks. We lost to the Falcons in heartbreaking fashion and then rebounded by losing to the Titans in heartbreaking fashion. First of all, I'd like to say Adam Troutman is the definition of dog shit. Bro is straight up monkey ass for no reason. He sucks. He reeks. He's horrible. I don't under... And it's not even his production, okay? He drops a fair amount of passes, whatever. He actually had a pretty decent game statistically this week. What did he have? He had um, six targets, five receptions for 32 yards. He wasn't terrible. But false starting on the two-yard line, the two-point conversion to tie the game, giving our defense a chance to get the ball back for the offense and, and go and maybe kick a field goal, go into overtime, do something. And that that's when you decide to do something like that? There have been so many huge penalties from Adam Troutman this season that have completely thrown games away. And it is so difficult to watch. It really is. The New Orleans Saints have a lot of problems. Tight end is one of them. I understand he's a rookie, but holy shit, just don't move. Don't move. So there are a plethora of things that lost us this game. The first thing I want to talk about is that horrible roughing the passer call on um, the New Orleans Saints. Apparently, apparently, it was on, I believe it was, was it Caden Ellis or was it uh, Pete Werner? I think it was on Caden Ellis. Someone ran up, hit Ryan Tannehill in the nameplate, and uh, this was in the red zone on an interception that Ryan Tannehill threw. He threw a pick in the end zone. Marcus Williams picked the ball off. But it was called back, given to the Titans, because of a really, really, really bad, a horrible roughing the passer call because somebody hit um, Ryan Tannehill in the nameplate. It wasn't helmet to helmet like they were saying it was. It was a really, really, really bad call. Wiped away the interception. Then there was a bad pass interference on third down on that same drive on like the 10-yard line that gave them a fresh set of downs. On DeMario Davis, another bad call, which led to seven points. The Saints lost by two. That series right there was terrible. Another thing that lost us to the game, the Deontay Harris fumble on the kick return starting at the half. That was a really bad fumble. Deontay Harris does not make mistakes often. That was a really big mistake to make. We allowed a touchdown there too. 14 of Tennessee's 23 points came from those two instances. One was a Mickey Mouse gift-wrapped touchdown given to them by the referees, and the other one was Deontay Harris fumbling the ball away. But we overcame both of those things and got in a situation where we really could try to put this game away. The Saints were down 12 to, I believe it was 20-something, 23. I don't think this t Titan scored after this point. It's 12 to 23. Um, we have put together a really good drive, went all the way down, got down to the one yard line. And instead, it, it was second down when we got to the one yard line, right? Stay with me. Instead of just doing what Sean Payton has done all year and running to pick up one yard with Taysom Hill, we opt to pass on third down and then kick a field goal to put the game at 15 to 23. That was an eight-point difference. The Saints would have an opportunity to get the ball back. They would. They'd go down and score, bring it within two points. If you just – it was fourth and one. You have Taysom Hill. First of all, the fact that you threw on third and one is downright ridiculous. You have Mark Ingram and Taysom Hill. In what world does it make any sense to throw the ball on third and one? Were you trying to get the team, to, to the other team, the defense, to do something unexpected? Did you think they were you were going to do something unexpected? You can't stop Taysom Hill when he needs to pick up one yard. It doesn't work like that. Sean Payton loves giving Taysom Hill the opportunity to run on third and 23. But on, on fourth and one, you're just going to kick the field goal, lay down, and die like that? My goodness. You should have known that the New Orleans Saints, given the opportunity, they went down and scored. They were not scoring that two-point convert. The Saints were 0-7 on two-point conversions since 2018, back in the Drew Brees era. What what, thought, what made you think it was magically going to change with Trevor Simeon and no wide receivers? That was a horrible, horrible...
horrible display of coaching by Sean Payton. I didn't agree with that at all. I did not like the idea of throwing on third and one. I did not like the idea of kicking that field goal, especially when Brian Johnson was having a terrible day. There was no guarantee he made that, so you can't even sit here and tell me, bruh, but if, if we don't go for it there, there's no guarantee we get any points out of the drive. Brian Johnson was 0 for 2 on field on extra points before that, which is another big reason we lost this game. Like, you can't defend th- those, those, those decisions made by Sean Payton late in the game. They were terrible. Absolutely horrible. We lost two games back-to-back, the Falcons and the Titans. The Titans were 7-2. and two. They're the number one seed in the AFC. We should have won this game. Really. Realistically, we should have. The New Orleans Saints should be 7-2 and two right now. Honestly, in 100% honesty, we should be 8-1 and one because we shouldn't have lost to the Giants either. But we're 5-4 and four instead. And we, we lost this game, a very winnable one, the same day the Tampa Bay Buccaneers dropped a winnable game to the Washington football team that would have given us the lead in the NFC South. Like, oh my, nothing is going right for us this season, which is okay, and I understand it. This, how we're fighting without any of these weapons really gives me a really big like piece of hope for how the team is going to run with Michael Thomas, Jameis Winston, uh, Deontay Harris out on the field as well. Um, you get Alvin Kamara back. We did not have him this week. That was another big thing. Um, whoever we draft, assuming we don't draft an offensive or defensive lineman for the 30th year in a row, assuming we go skills position and get a wide receiver so we don't end up in this situation ever again. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of, of hope for next year. The defense has been amazing. But these, these easy, winnable games that we've been in are getting dropped because of terrible coaching and bad play calling and just drops by wide receivers, such and such. Trevor Simeon actually had a pretty dang good game today. He was 19 for 34 with 298 yards and two touchdowns. I think he's a quarterback one. I definitely think he's a quarterback one. He plays like one. He's throwing to Kevin White. Bro, drop that nice pass he put in his chest and double coverage. Trevor Simeon had an amazing day. He's a quarterback one. I don't care what anybody says. Taysom Hill was 2 for 2 with 11 yards passing. Mark Ingram had 14 attempts for 47 yards, 3.4 um, average, and one touchdown. Taysom Hill did not get the ball enough. It was told that he was going to have a gigantic role in today's offense. He had three carries for 23 yards, 7.7 yards per carry, but we don't trust him to get one yard on the one-yard line, guys. We don't trust him to punch it in at that point, guys. Sean Payton, no, we don't, we don't trust him. Stupid stupid shit man I swear the stupidest shit Deontay Harris had four targets three receptions 84 yards um Traquan Smith had seven receptions for or seven targets four receptions 44 yards and a touchdown Marquez Callaway had two receptions for 37 yards and a touchdown as well um but yeah Brian Johnson Deontay Harris's fumble Sean Payton's play calling and Jerome Boger lost us this game man I'm just going to be completely and 100% honest. There's really not much to talk about. It was just a frustrating one to watch. This, the, the New Orleans Saints have been very frustrating to watch this season if you're a Saints fan because there's so much potential and so much ease in winning these games that we're just throwing away because we hate ourselves for some reason. I don't understand, but I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Um, tough loss, but uh, hopefully we'll bounce back against Philadelphia in Philly next week. If we lose that game... It's bye bye. That that will up the Saints to six and four if they win. If they lose, they'll be five hundred for the first time in since nineteen eighty four. Obviously, I'm joking. We suck at the beginning of the season usually, but whatever. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you boys in the next one. Adios. This shit has me mad. Peace out.